Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excel 2016 training. In this video, we'll take a look at sorting and filtering using tables. Here is our employees workbook and uh, I'm on the temp to spreadsheet or worksheet. So here we have uh, a table with about 250 rows and um, as you can see there's a lot of data there. I mean 250 rows is not a big set but uh, you know uh, we'll use it for understanding sorting and filtering here. So at the header here you have uh, every header column you have a little arrow or a triangle pointing down which you could you know you can use that to display the sorting and filtering features of the table so let us use that so i mean as you can see the table is sorted by the employee id uh, column because these are all in the order um, let's say you want to sort it by the name first name so all you do is click that uh, little uh, sorting and filtering uh, option button then from here you do a to z and now it's sorted alphabetically for the first name. Let's say you want to filter it. Let's say you want to uh, filter based on the state. Say for example, do that, uncheck. Uh, this is a filtering text thing, you know, uncheck. You can also have, you know, there's a lot more options there. Um, but by default, what you can do is you can uncheck select all option that you have and then you know just check the desired state say I do Texas Tennessee Utah okay so now all I see is rows from those three states as you can see the table maintains the banded rows automatically so that's how you apply filters I mean you can also apply filters let's say you want to uh, look at um, everyone from these states and you want to look at just the HRs. So we have three people working in the HR department that are from these states. And uh, you know, you can do this, uh, clear the filters, everything is gone. Now let's say you want to see um, everyone whose salary is greater than Let's see, $68,000. Okay, now, see, it filtered and it displayed you only those records where the, it found the salary was greater than $68,000. So that's how you, you know, sort and filter data. It's very simple and, you know, it really helps when you try to, you know, analyze large sets of data. Well, that's it uh, for this video. I will see you in the next.